Okay, question seven um, is a little bit unusual as well, but it, it's not as scary as it seems um, at first glance. It says that the mean and standard deviation of the weight of 75 stones, so N for part one, just get rid of this, this is for part two, we don't need that yet. For part one, N is 75. It says that the mean is 52.3. And the ver sorry, this they've given us the standard deviation. That's important to note that that's the standard deviation, not the variance. We might want to write down the variance as well, which will be five point eight squared, um, which is thirty three point six four. So it wants us to work out the sum of w squared. Now, how how are we meant to do that? We that is in. The variance formula. The formula for variance will be the sum of the w squareds over n minus the mean squared. We've got this, that's fine. They've told us this, that's the 33.64, and we know n is 75. So we can work out sum of w squared if we sub everything into the formula and rearrange it. So that's why it's not as, as scary as it first seems, as long as you know the formula. So I'm going to write down that 33.64 is equal to the sum of w squared that we're looking for over 75 minus 52.3 squared. Don't forget to square that mean. So if we rearrange it by adding 52.3 squared, to the other side. We can then times that, and I'm going to do this all in one go just to save me having to type loads of stuff into the calculator. We can then times this by 75. And that will give us sigma d squared. So 75 times by 33.64. Plus 52, oh, I've written that slightly wrong, sorry. Just rub that out. That needs to be like that. 52.3 squared. That comes out at 207,000. 7575 you, you might want to round that to three significant figures, which would be um, 208,000, um, 